it's Dominique and in this video I'm just um, making cinnamon sugar pull apart bread. I can post the link down below for you um, to the blog that I found it on. It's not my recipe at all. So right now it's just rising a little bit. And I couldn't find a dry and clean dish towel. They're all in the wash so I used a pillowcase. Anyway, this is what I wanted to show you. Um, it's in Finnish, but what this is, oh, it's also in English, it's a reusable baking paper and it doesn't stick at all. The first time I made this um, bread a few weeks ago, I had used parchment paper to roll out the dough and it stuck quite a bit, but this stuff, it's reusable, it's shiny, it's smooth, um, it's brown, and it's very environmentally friendly because you can reuse this up to 260 degrees and it's called uh, OPA non-stick permanent baking paper so up to 260 degrees Celsius you can bake it and it's already pre-cut to fit your mat just don't use anything sharp on it and as well in this video I thought I'd show you how to grease your baking dish what I do is I just cut a little piece of butter or two and then the gross part using your hands and all you want to do is just take the butter and the warmth of your hands will melt it and just smooth the butter out along not just the bottom of your cupcake tin or loaf pan or whatever you're going to use to bake but all around and the reason why you're doing this is to prevent your dough or batter from sticking to the sides so it'll be easier to pop out your loaf of bread or your cupcakes or your cake if it's already greased you can use margarine I just happen to be using butter since I had to melt some on the stove anyway some people use lard or shortening or spray I guess so just really spread it out evenly especially with this recipe um, you really want to cover all parts of your pan because what will happen with this dough is I'll roll it out and then cut it in slices and stack them up kind of like books and fill it in here so it'll be touching everywhere once it's fully uh, risen okay so you can discard the little extra piece if there is any or you can just keep working it until it's melted so sometimes you just have to grease your pan and sometimes you also have to grease and lightly flour it so what I'll do is just take about a tablespoon of flour or so and then just lightly sprinkle it in and then just get the flour to stick along the sides so this gives your cake or your loaf extra protection so it doesn't burn or stick because butter tends to burn quite quickly when it's baking but follow what your recipe says so you may not have to flour a pan but it's not hard but this will help make it even easier to pop out your loaf of bread once it's uh, cooled off after baking okay and 
that is it. And I strongly recommend trying this recipe if you get the chance. It is time consuming, but it's so delicious and it's a real crowd pleaser um, at a potluck or a baby shower, wherever you're bringing it. I'm bringing it to a friend who just had a baby, so I'm sure they'll really enjoy it. Alright, thank you for watching. Have a great day.